Hey everybody, it's Sarah and welcome back to The Scrappery. I've got another Project Life layout for you today. This is going to be week 38. That was back in September. September is fall for us, the very end of summer, the very beginning of fall. And I thought the colors from this kit were going to be absolutely perfect for September. So I thought I would tackle all of September with these kits. There you can see I started out with that gorgeous peach colored 4x6 that I cut from one of the 12 by 12 papers from the kit. I'm also using that black die cut and the white die cut that came in the kit. The only things I pulled from my stash this week were some old thickers, some gold glitter thickers, and some old Maggie Holmes word thickers, which is where that darling came from. And now I'm using those gorgeous teal Kaiser Craft word stickers just to put in my week 38. I love how that teal pops against that kind of orangish coral color. And then I'm going to grab my good old Becky Higgins Roller Date Stamper and my Black Stays on Ink, and I'm going to stamp the beginning date of the week and the ending date of the week. And I did run that card through my sewing machine just with some white thread to kind of make a little border around it. And then, oh, I did pull some tiny word stickers because I have been totally addicted to just using tiny word stickers on my 3x4 pictures lately just because I don't like to cover too much of those up. So there is a little glassine bag that came in the kit, and I'm just digging around in those absolutely gorgeous sequin mix that Ronell put together this month. I'm absolutely loving it. And I did add a few little extra kind of iridescent stars just to make it shake a little bit more. And I wanted it just a little bit fuller and I didn't want to use up all my sequins because I wanted to make sure I had enough for my other two layouts that I'm going to do with this kit. So there I'm just running it through my sewing machine. I stitched it shut three times just because I love the look of some extra stitching in there. And I am going to put that on that beautiful Kaiser Craft white and gold polka dot paper. That Good Vibes is actually from a couple of kits ago. It came with kind of that birthday themed kit. Those I think were like Dear Lizzie and some of them were colored and some of them were white. And I just used that gorgeous pink Kaiser Craft shimmery spray that came in the Kaiser color or whatever it's called. And I just gave that like five good sprays and then wiped it off with some paper towel. And there I did grab another one of those Maggie Holmes tassels. I've got just oodles and oodles of them left. I feel like I've used them on every layout I've done in the last month, and I still have like two, four, six, eight. I still have eight left, so I guess I got my money's worth out of that pack. So then that says, best day ever, and that was from the Kaiser Craft Cut Apart Sheet that came with. Now that little... 3x4 card that had the wreath on it, that was also from the cut apart, and then I just ran that through my sewing machine three times in a circle just to add some stitching to that actual circular wreath part. And then I am going to grab the Maggie Holmes Thickers from Gather that says, I think the Sweet Life I'm going to stick on there. And I was playing with those flowers. I still have some flowers left from a couple of kits ago too, and I wanted to maybe see if I could get those to stick on, but the teal wasn't quite the same color. Yep, so now I'm just going to stick on The Sweet Life. It was all about glittery gold for me this week. And just trying to get it straight and not get my head totally under the camera. That's tricky. And then I'm just going to embellish with, I've got a ton of Kaiser Craft pearls and rhinestones from all of the kits. So many of them come on those little cards that it they last absolutely forever. And now this week was like the second week of school because our school runs from September to the end of May. So this would have been my girls just maybe like second week of school. I tried on a dress there with my oldest daughter at Target for a wedding that we went to later in the week, which you will see on the other side of the spread. My daughter had Elsa's crown face painted on her forehead at a an, an animal shelter event that my mom was working at. There is a gorgeous picture of a huge paddle boat up there on the Mississippi River. We live right on the Mississippi. And as I was coming back into town one day, there was this huge, it's kind of a famous, it's called the Jonathan, Jonathan Paddleford. Um, and it had stopped in our little town. So I ran 
or I ran, I drove my car down uh, to the bottom of the bridge to take a quick picture of it because the Jonathan, Jonathan Paddleford never stops in Hastings where I live. Okay, so here is the other side. This is a teal piece of four by six from the cut apart or from one of the sheets in the kit. I think that was probably from one of the Kaiser Craft ones. And then I just used half of one of the doilies that came in the kit, and I am sewing around all four sides there. And that Say Yes is also from one of the previous kits. Once again, I just sprayed it with some of that beautiful pink uh, Kaiser Shine or Kaiser Mist, Kaiser Color. And I'm going to sew through that just to keep it on because those things are a Dickens to glue. They're so fine and thin, so I just decided to run them through my sewing machine. And I did already type out my journaling. I typed it on some vellum, and I'm going to put it on that beautiful piece of specialty paper that is the, the white with a little bit of pink and kind of almost like water-resist flowers on it. I, I still have more than half of that sheet left, and I can't wait to try some mists on that paper because I think that might be what it is made for, for a little bit of mixed media action and then where it is shiny, the the paint won't soak through, and then you'll kind of see the pattern more. So I'm excited to maybe play with that next week, too. So there I am just repeating similar elements from the other side. I just added some quick DIY shop gold tiny word stickers to my 3x4 pictures. There's my husband with the bride. They work together, so that's why we went to the wedding. It was at that, uh, in the upper right-hand corner, it says Bent Creek. It was at an absolutely gorgeous golf course, and they had Famous Dave's, which is really good barbecue, catered in. It was amazing. So that is the 4x6 card I'm working on right now. So once again, half of a doily, stuck it on. That is a picture of my plate from the wedding. We ate and ate and ate until we were just stuffed. It was delicious. And then I'm repeating similar elements from my title card, which are the black die cut leaves. And then I opted for the gold sparkly die cut instead of the white. And then that is a Maggie Holmes Gather bow. And then that is one of the little beautiful kind of shiny flowers that came in one of the little bits and pieces bags that I am addicted to. And now I am just trying to finish up. I was actually in the middle of making dinner at this point. So in a couple of seconds, you're going to see me pause before I go back and do kind of my final, my final once over to add my last bit of embellishments. So here I am just adding my, I went for the white pearls, the pink gems and the clear gems to kind of embellish a little bit. And I did add some hearts there on that say yes, because I thought, hey, how perfect, because when you're a bride, you say yes. And then, oh, I did use up a lot of the, a couple of the kits came with a really lot of wood veneer, and I'm finally getting down to the end of my wood veneer stash from all of my scrappery kits. That's a little die cut love that came in the bits and pieces bag, so I'm going to put love always, because I thought that was a good sentiment for a wedding spread. And once again, just hitting it with my Kaiser Craft Gems and Pearls. And we are going to pause in just a second, because I'm kind of, at the point where I don't know what else to do when I know that dinner is in the oven. So here comes my pause. And now we're back and this is just gonna be a last few seconds of me deciding that I need a little bit more gold glitter on this side because the other side had quite a bit of gold glitter to it. And I'm probably just gonna end up with some more Kaiser Craft Pearls and Gems and I think that is going to about do it for this week. So that is week 38 of Project Life in the bag. I'm down to only about maybe 10 or 12 weeks that I still have to do from last year. I'm getting pretty excited about that. So here are a whole ton of close-ups. I hope you guys enjoyed my latest video and I can't wait to Connect with you guys on Facebook and read all your lovely comments on the YouTube video. So thank you so much, ladies. I hope you're having as much fun playing with these jade kits as I am. And as always, I'm looking forward to my next kits that will be in the mail in probably about two and a half weeks. So thank you so much, ladies. Have a great day.